Hello everybody, my name is The Sledgehammer and welcome back to Dream Daddy. And we're just continuing basically right where I left off, uh, same day and everything. Eh, first visitor already- how do I do his voice? It's, first visitor already? That was a little- I walk over to the door and open it. Hello, a mystery person is uh, knocking on your door. Huh. Oh, it's Soldier! It's fucking Soldier 76! Her handsome, clean cut red stands at my door! With brandishing of a plate of cookies! I love cookies, eh? Hell! <laughs> oh! Hell, look at him! Oh, hello! Hello! Oh, oh Joseph! Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh, yes, hi, I'm Eh. That's what my name is. Yes, it is Eh. Oh. I saw the moving van and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know that she baked her herself. God damn it, everybody and their daughters. Joseph leads in and whispers, Whoa, they're all ready. Mm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Yeah. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Mm. Wow, cookies! Huh? Oh, <laughs> I just <laughs> totally got confused right there. So nice to meet you. I'm trying to get out of the way. Joseph. Joseph Latin hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Oh. Dots. <laughs> Thanks for the cookies. That's all she cares about. Lords of Arabia. Lords of Arabia. Great Lords of Arabia. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Not giving me any of them. I'm gonna have to talk to her about that. Huh? Amanda Cumber. Ah, she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name's Amanda. She's a charmer. Ooh. I don't like how he went. Ooh, she's a charmer, eh? This is Dream Daddy, not Dream Daddy's daughter. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh no, he's got two. Children in general are just tough. I keep the ooze is uh us. I hear that. I mean, there has to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I think you just triggered him. I have four kids. Oh fuck. What? <laughs> What have you done? They don't call him Daddy76 for nothing. His name's Joseph. He's Daddy76. Oh, I meant. Oh. Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. And internally, he's like, you son of a bitch. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met. And my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. And please tell me that's an option. Uh, and also, didn't the guy, the, uh... Brian. I think his name is Brian. Uh, I just like walked away for a second. I already forgot his name. That's that's not good. Uh, I, he's, he's technically a neighbor. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh. Is the missus around? Oh. Mister, actually. And, er. Uh, no, not anymore. He died. Oh, so we just call him the missus. Oh, 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 he's dead. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. You stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Hmm. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but com comply. After a second, I I hear a knock on the door opening, and I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. <laughs> hey, I, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come and meet the rest of our of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? You just talked about the dead spouse while not talking about the dead spouse. Oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Free food, bitches. Oh, so four kids this is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Yeah. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. 
Oh, well, maybe I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Saturday? Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops the thing for a second and turns around. Yeah. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself being a youth. Wink. You look, oh, whoa, wink. Wink. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. But come back. He seemed nice. Amanda, what the fuck are you doing? Amanda walks in. Oh my. Oh, okay, she's still got a cookie. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. It's also the most awkward one. <laughs> See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? <sighs> They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better. They weren't very good. Oh! No, the cookies had to be good. So you ate all of them anyway? Yeah. Ooh, I think that's what she's doing. Yep, gotcha. She, she ate all the cookies. I guess that makes it way time. Did we? Oh yeah, we did unpack. Wow, I just realized that un unpacking finished. Any ideas? Joseph probably. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, Joseph's got to come back for the plate anyway, so we'll just hold on to that. I could use some coffee. I'm feeling a little sluggish, and coffee seems like a more responsible option than just taking a nap. I'm proud of you. Spending money on a coffee instead of taking a nap. Don't trust anyone who likes their meat well done. Wink. <laughs> Work down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. <laughs> Man, this is... Yeah. I mean, I guess. I just had to run a mile. You were just skipping across. Mm. What's wrong? Why don't I go somewhere and drink coffee on a couch when I could drink coffee at home? On my own couch. Not to make awkward... <laughs> I... <laughs> I have to make awkward eye contact with other people. This guy gets it. Ed gets it. I just went home, some random guy's gonna come up of center and kind of next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he is very much within my personal zone. Dad. What's with etiquette? When you have a dirty mug, is there a pin? Do you go and set it up on the counter because you don't know where to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your fa- <laughs> uh, Or do you leave it there and feel the fa your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, in fact, a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Aww. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, terrified! Unless I have cookies. Yes, Amanda! We walk, in we walk inside. I forget that most of the, like, yeah. that narrative's him. Whoa, whoa, who's this dude? The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vital records line the walls and patrons on the and uh, well run, well round and well on, well worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player ne played next to his ne stage. I'm like stuttering so much. Hey, welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. My name's Matt. I'm just gonna straight up introduce myself without saying my name, which. You didn't do that for the previous two people. Is this guy a dad? How's it go, Spoon? Welcome to the coffee, Spoon, guys. How's it going? This is the worst voice I've ever done. What's with the name? I just forgot. Oh. I'm Matt. It's kind of dumb. Oh, oh, don't, don't down with hey. this. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because the, like, the business is still running? I don't know how to do a voice. Mm. I, <clears throat> wait, hold on. But people ask me. I, I I can't do voices when like after doing a voice. I'm doing his voice. All right, I'm just gonna read it normally. But people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And I'm standing here rambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. <laughs> uh, oh. Oh. Dots. Eh? Dots? Eh? Dots. Hmm. So what it will be? Uncomfortableness? Mm -hmm. I scan the tripod menu and immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... 
I can't tell if that's racist or not. It's probably just me. But I want this thing. Yes. Oh, I just gave him hearts. No eggplants this time. That was weird. Oh, I didn't do anything with Joseph. Spicy. It's very spicy. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Diane word. Oh, yeah, Diane word is a South American African rap group. They're pretty well known for their uh, evocative imagery and hyper stylized music videos. The music is catchy as it is disturbing. A little hey. bit. Dots. I'm doing the thing again. <laughs> I like Matt. Hey. But coming right up. And for you, I'll have him. Macchiato to Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Ah, medium. I want it in biggie smalls. Huh. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <laughs> Matt sits to make and I drinks, and Amanda and I take a uh, seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? <laughs> Let the man make his puns. The cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! Hey! Sky was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Not comfier than our couch. That's alright. Good lumbar support. Sink right into it. Dots. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Man, do not just me. This place is right next to our old house. Uh, this place is right next to our house. And that guy seems not only cool, but also just as comfortable with <laughs> talking to people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Uh, I don't know. Hmm, come on. What do we say about ne meeting... What do we say about meeting new people? Can't meet new people if I were to stay inside. Also, don't go outside. And also, don't talk to new people. <laughs> See, we're making progress. Matt sets our drink down at the table. And I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. <laughs> Hi, we're in the new neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad. Eh. Oh, oh right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Oh, shit, we're going to battle the daughters again. Amanda, I choose you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. God damn, this couch is comfy. I'm gonna kick my leg from underneath the table. <laughs> ah, sure, we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get you guys' opinion on something. Is the name to Tupac too late? That goes in the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with the name. Banana nut! No, I can't think of anything else. Well, I think we're gonna have to taste test it first so we can get a full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give it that Nana bread taste if you want us to do free creative labor. I think that would be... commensurate with, uh... I couldn't see the name. I've taught her well. We've trained for this day, and soon we'll take over the world. I was just gonna give you, I was just gonna give you guys free banana bread anyway. Calm down. Right? Yes, that, that was what we were doing too. That serves us each a piece, Amanda, and I happily chow down. Yeah. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Uh -huh. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might be only to give you dad bun puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's grateful ban banana bread. Right said banana bread. Like right said, Fred, but now it's all about banana bread. I think the youngsters would like it, despite not getting it. That actually has a nice ring to it. Really? I was just saying shit out of my ass. Yeah, rice said banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. Baby. He called me baby! Uh, he called me baby! Uh -oh. I want to say baby, because I thought it would sound cool. But once I said it, I realized that it doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Hey. 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 Enjoy your coffee. I'm burning my mouth on it, but thank you. Thanks, baby. 
Okay. See, it sounds good when you say it. Oh, thank you. Oh, whoa. Dude, that guy looks like Uncle Crow from Ruby. Oh, shit. Across the way, the man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. All right, Smeet, for just a moment. But no, we were just talking to Matt. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're gonna sound like this. Only because I said Uncle Crow. I'm bad at impressions. I hastily look away, hoping you didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care! Eh? Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? We're gonna jump off this building! N not in a suicide way, they're just so full of energy. Oh. <laughs> no, I need a nap! We just had coffee. Have you ever. Have you ever known me play to. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Oh, they want the train to Sleepy Time Junction. Woo woo. Whistle while you work. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I don't know how to whistle, so. The solo from K. Charmin is the greatest guitar solo ever recorded. Should I know that? As we're walking from home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Uh-oh. Hey, bro! Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! I know who this is! This is Nate Wants to Battle. And if you don't know who that is, then look it up right now. But, no. One, I could hear that. Two, he posted it on Twitter today, so I knew that was gonna happen. But, this one also looks like Hanzo from Overwatch. So... Turn around and I'm greeted with a familiar face jogging up to a familiar face. You know this guy? Craig! I know Craig. Mm -hmm. Bro. Bro! Oh. <laughs> Nate just moaned in my ear. Holy wow! I haven't seen Craig in forever. Mm -hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey. Yeah, I cleaned up my act. What act? What'd he do? Uh oh. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped! Oh, okay, that's. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. We might have slept together. But that was before your father. <laughs> oh, okay, never mind. They... Okay. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Huh. Hi. Hi. Oh, and hello, cute baby. Nice. <laughs> oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. So it was a long time ago. Oh, the baby's name is River. River Song. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks her up. Oh, he picks up her tiny wrist and wraps it around. River gurgles happily. How are you, babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Holy shit! Man, it has been a long time. It's like one minute we were rolling up with exams with bad hangovers. The next we're both fathers. Where have you been, man? Mm -hmm. I was working down in California and just relocated to the business back in t back to Maple Bay. Maple Bay. No kidding! Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? Hi. I mean Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh god. Is it was Smashley? Smashly a nickname? You know? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, what? She actually still goes by Smashly, and we got divorced last year. Why would you why would you go by Smashly? Oh dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic dot big word. Small word. Twins! You have three kids! God damn it, people! Huh? Ain't life something, bro? Right? <laughs> Kekstan Craig is the father of three! That's a badass name. Mm -hmm. Kekstan Craig? Oh. oh, yeah, it was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Hmm. Is that the thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink? Oh, it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Hmm. Right. He was very good at it. Don't try that at home, Amanda. Unless Craig's here. Mm -hmm. Ah, bro, I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I really gotta keep up with my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. 
Hmm. You jog daily? I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promise I'm about to jog daily for the rest of the year, but I give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ah, I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun, bro. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. I want bro brunch! Alright, sure, sounds great. You convinced me. God damn those arms. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Greg gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. Hi! I can't believe Craig is ripped in us kids! I'm reeling! Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink the entire dog marinara sauce for dinner. Hey, marinara is good. Not that I would do that, but it's pretty good. Amanda! He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and drank it like it was his. The thing that the normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing. And he said, and I quote, It's basically a smoothie, bro. Sounds like Craig, all right. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. Huh. He's like a totally different person. God damn it, Smashley, what'd you do to him? Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. Amanda and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove an empty box out of the way before she can sit. Hmm, too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff back right into these boxes in a few months. No, Amanda, you're going to college! No, don't say that. Aw, oh, Dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around anymore. Ah. I'll come to visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. Ah. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. <laughs> you promise? Ah. Of course. Are you gonna be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on, I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Or three dogs. Yeah. The dog. Hey. Yeah, high school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that really what's gonna take? Yeah. Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck, I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. <laughs. Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slide through the mail slot. Mail already? Speaking of college... <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles them. I'm not gonna do his voice for these. She pulls one out... Cause, man, my voice is skimming, really. Meh. But she pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Alright! This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it! Huh? But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. It's not like it's gonna bite you. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future and not a big deal. <laughs> she takes a deep breath and opens the letter. Or rips the, open le rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter open, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, no. Um, we... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Aww. Her face drops. God damn it. Well, the dog it is. Regret to inform you you're unable to offer your admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. God, I know. Uh, Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Uh, it's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put the experimental stuff in my portfolio. The admissions officer just told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much you put you into your portfolio. Some other school's going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? Ah, see, as an expert. Hmm. An expert! I'm fine, really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Huh. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. You still know them! Aww. So... 
Do you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? Look at this shirt. I would choose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I have no I have I completely already have plans for tonight. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Where am I going? Yeah, what are your plans? Quick, think of plans! <laughs> Amanda, the, t the town needs me. I need to perform my mayoral duties. I must don my top hat and wear my monocle so I preside over my mayor stuff. Yeah. I think you're thinking of the guy from Monopoly. <laughs> he was a mayor, right? <laughs> he was not. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... <laughs> nice. Mm -hmm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on tonight. Uh, the game? On TV? At somewhere other than here? Eh? Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. <laughs> we refer to your friends as the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Pick some other Emmas. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. <laughs> Give her a pat on the head. <laughs> Have fun with your sports. Are you being sarcastic? Because there is a game on at Matt's place. Uh. No, making fun of sports is played out. <laughs> Huh. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Yeah. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. That sounds like an evil name. Yep, totally remember it. I'll be there. I'm lifting weights. Use proper form and a full range of motion. Grow your own vegetables. It's cheaper, I think. I guess I really didn't think this plan through. Not to Todd Tyler show with the close of bars. And Amanda hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool, okay, we're marching. Marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be? A big burn down the end sun hangs above the tiny bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. It'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sound in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. Can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up to the bar seat. Bartender. I just said his name. What will it be? What will it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me a nice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Hello! I awkwardly turned my attention to the game, which is playing one of the TVs on the wall. As well luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal does cartwheel, uh, does cartwheels. I just silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor, like me, the passion for the team is all in good fun. Hey. Oh, uh, hey. A middle-aged woman holding a near-empty wine glass siddles, sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Get out of my personal space! Hey, sailor. Don't you want to ride in this one? <laughs> Hello! Good to see some fresh meat in here. I marry come here often. Oh no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Ed, by the way. I don't know why I'm telling you this. God damn it, Matt, you put this in my head. Why am I still talking? This is uncomfortable. I'm gonna stop now. Are you watching the game? And to anybody watching this, you just lost the game. Don't want, don't know what it is? Look it up and you'll hate me for that. Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. Uh, go, my team. If I keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. <laughs> what game are we playing? Hey. Oh, I love that team. Also, I love that game. Oh, I love someone who knows their way around their balls. 
Oh, they're right around balls. I made that more dirty than it should have been. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. And she continues to sip on the wine. Ugh. I'm gay. Get out of here. Uh. Buy a gal a drink. Don't buy me. Well, okay. Are we being nice? Are we going to make her more drunk? Or is she just... I'm new in town. I'm a nice guy. As a nice guy, we're gonna buy Mary a drink. I almost locked my signal to bartender in order. Mary, another glass of this. Neil jumps back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She tips a glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company. Oh shit, what did I do? Hey. So, what do you want to know? What's your deal? <laughs> hmm, should I go forward? What do you think of the game? We already talked about the game. She likes my team and likes this game. What's the latest gossip around here? Uh, I can probably find that out by myself. I'm gonna learn more about Mary. Ah. Me? Oh, I'm a ghost. Oh, I thought that was her doing a ghostly sound, not my name. I haunt the hollowed halls of Jim and Kim's, waited for my beloved to return from sea. Really? No. <laughs> uh. Homegirl just loves a drink. <laughs> so what else can you tell me about this part of town? Mm. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans in closer. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? Oh boy! Ah, uh, maybe some other time? Uh, suit yourself, sailor. <laughs> Mary Santos off. She is setting her sights on the newest bar picture now. Okay. I have to watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close with than what I'm comfortable with. After a particular skill player scores a number of points from the other team, bring them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team. Who is this ominous man? I don't know. You don't know. But that's all the time I have for this video. Uh, I want to see what this does. This was this I think is just a skip conversation, or it's probably skip people. I don't want to do that. I'm gonna do this. Oh, save. Definitely saving. I haven't saved yet, so I'm going to save again because I do that. All right. So that's all the time I have for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like button. Please comment. Please do something. I need to. I want to see who's watching, who's paying attention and stuff. Um, but, yep. I will see you guys later, and we'll find out who, who, who this guy is, who likes his team of this game that we're playing. Also, friendly reminder, you lost the game. Bye.